Never had a lot, this is all I need. What is up, guys? It is Scott here with Scott Talks, but you knew that already. And today, we have two special guests. Special guests, introduce yourself. Here is Chris, you already know what it is. Back again, stand up, Chris. K R I S 2 S, you already know what it is. Yes, sir. Smooth dude, what it do? It's your boy Pablo. Follow me on IG, Global Boy Pablo. So you know them, you know me, but today, what are we talking about? We're talking about HBCUs and why we chose ours, because we realize that right now it's an important time in a lot of high schoolers' lives, as well as maybe some um, actual college students or people looking to go to HBCUs, or maybe just want to learn more about them um, and why kind of we chose them, the pros, the cons, some experiences that we've had, you know, kind of just a little bit about us, because again, we want to be transparent with you guys, and if we can aid you in making that decision, whether it's to HBCU or not to HBCU, you know, we would love to do that. So without further ado, let's talk about what we get into and what HBCUs we actually go to. Because again, I'm talking all this. You guys don't even know what schools we go to. So my name's Scott Lipscomb. I am a sophomore mass communications major and I go to Xavier University of Louisiana in New Orleans, Louisiana. Okay, I'm a Christian bioengineering major at NCAT, North Carolina A&T State University. Yes, sir. Can I get an Aggie pride? Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I go to A&T, though, bioengineering here. Okay, Darius Macon, uh, go D. Bowie State University, marketing major, minor in fashion design. All right, so now you see that we all actually go to three different HBCUs, so you guys are going to be able to get a little bit of perspective from each of us. Um, So we're going to first talk about kind of our college process and our, I guess, journey to getting to our HBCU. So I guess I'll start off. So um, actually in high school, I did an HBCU tour my junior year, which did not include um, Xavier, but I kind of... It was like, okay, I like that a lot of these HBCUs seem very family-oriented and that, you know, it seems that the staff care about you and people care about you, and I like that, as well as just the environment. It just seemed very – it seemed like, yes, you're going to get your education, but you're also going to have a lot of fun while doing it, which is something yeah. I like. So when I was applying to schools, I definitely did apply to PWIs, too. But I applied to HBCUs and PWIs, and then when it came closer and closer, to, you know, to that final decision, there was definitely some HBCUs in my final choice. So I think, yeah – um, in high school, I wasn't a crazy student or anything. I think I had, I think I finished with a three five. Um, my last two years of high school, I did pretty well. I think I had four four point two senior year, but freshman and sophomore year, school just wasn't just wasn't my thing. It wasn't really something I was focused on. I mean, I, I was good enough at it to still you know get by, but I wasn't really you know I wasn't really trying. I just it just wasn't cool to me. You know, going through the motion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, for me it was a for me it was a process. Um, so basically, I applied to all my schools and I was getting acceptances and everything. But A and T, they they just wasn't they weren't rocking with me at first. And it was uh it was it was really because um I was a I wanted to be an engineer. I wanted to do an engineering major, and you had to have a specific SAT score. I had the GPA, didn't have the SAT score. So I took the SAT three times to get a right score. Ooh. So what I had to do was I had to apply um, undeclared so I could uh, try to just get into the school in general and then make my major uh, bioengineering. Um, so that's what I had to do because by the time I could take the third SAT, uh, I did. I, I, I would have had to, uh, you know, already apply and stuff. My like my date was gone, so. I did that, and they accepted me. And then later on, I sent in my uh, SAT score, so everything was straight, so I could be my uh, be a bioengineer and everything. But um, that happened like literally that happened in May, right? You make your decision in May. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and literally half that all of that happened in May. So I was um, the rest of my schools. I didn't really have a lot of HBCUs in my last final decision, like my top five. Mm. Um, my top three, I think, were it hey. was. It was uh, St. John's, no, my top five. It was St. John's, Penn State, Mm -hmm. uh, Xavier, North Carolina A&T, and I don't remember what the fifth one was, honestly. Um, But I know, what was it? Um, Pitt, Pitt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, those are my five. So you see I only had, what, three HBCUs in there? Two. Um, So, yeah, I, I, I wasn't like, but I knew I wanted to go out of state. Like, as you can see, all of those schools were out of state. So I was one of those per, uh, people that just wanted to get away from home, so it didn't really matter to me. 
Um, but one, once I visited A and T, that, that's one of the uh, few schools I got to visit. Some of the other schools I visited, like I didn't even like really even think about going to for real. But I got in, so I just went. Like Hampton, I went to Hampton. Uh, what else? Howard, I visited Howard, and then NCAT. When I got when I got on that NCAT campus, bro, I'm telling you, bro, I was like, this is where I want to be. I, I had that feeling too. I visited the NCAT <laughs> campus. I ain't going to lie, you, bro. That campus is beautiful. Yeah, but. So when, once I figured that out, I was like, yeah. Once they sent me that acceptance, I was running around the house. I'm like, yep, that's where I'm going. So we made that happen. So that's right. Yeah, that's, that was my story for real. Um, but my it, like my the takeaways from that, um, honestly, just make sure you have like good schools, like schools you really think you would, you you would want to go to in your top five. Top or you three. could see yourself. Yeah, because I I if I didn't get that NCAT acceptance. Bro, I don't know where I would have ended up. I was talking to Scott. I'm like, I might come to Xavier with you. Like, we were talking back and forth, bro. Then I found out some stuff about Xavier, like their engineering program. Like, it was just weird. Like, you got to do two years, this, and then they... It was a lot. So, I'm like, I didn't really even have a plan if I didn't get into NCAT. So, like, just make sure you choose wisely and you have a, a, a good, like, a good, like... What's the word? Like, you have good choices. Like, you actually... Can go to any of your top three and be and be okay with that because it was like I got I kind of got in like like right up, right on the line like I was on thin ice so but yeah I got in made it happen now I go to NCA. Um, for me, I was more so worried about my credits because coming out of high school I went to AHS, which if you don't know, sixty credit program. Uh, when you graduate from high school, you also get your associate's degree, so you already had two years done in college. Chris also went there, but, no, a little different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't mind staying home. So, the thing about the program, if you really want your uh, credits to transfer, you have to stay in the DMV, more specifically yeah. in-state. So, um, when I was applying to colleges, um, I think my top five was Bowie, Towson. I really didn't like UMG like that. Um, Lincoln, Morgan State, and Virginia State, I believe. I also got accepted to, like, Virginia Tech, Old Dominion. You know, just colleges around here. But when it came down to my decision, um, I really ended up liking Bowie campus. Um, a lot of people don't want to say uh, by Bowie because it's so local to PG County, but it's actually a nice campus. Mm-hmm. Alumni are starting to yeah. give back to the um, – alumni are starting to give back, so we're getting a lot of new buildings, all that. We got a lot of stuff reopening. So Bowie's really on the up, especially um, in terms of HBCUs. We have a good football team, Division Two. They went undefeated um, for the HBCU pageant. Uh, well, I, I might like touch on HBCU pageants and all that later on, but um, for the HBCU pageants, we ended up getting Mr. HBCU coming straight out of Bowie State, which is actually like just crazy to hear after having an undefeated season. We got new buildings and all that. So going to Bowie, it, it really um, touched me. It was like, like you, you want to think about it because it's so local. You're like, I eh, don't want to be so close to home. But it's still like around forty minutes for me, so my, my my parents really don't be hawking me. Thank thank the <laughs> Lord. So I mean, they won't just pop up like, "Hey, where are your school?" So my mom was actually an alumni from Bowie as well, so that also That's helped. So they get a little extra that. Oh, FAMU was also on my list. My dad's an yeah, alumni yeah. from FAMU, so all my uh, family went to HBCU. My dad was pushing for me. I really, I, I'm not like them too. I did not want to be 16 hours away from home. That, Definitely. especially in middle of nowhere, Tallahassee, burning hot sun. The vibes is great on campus, though. Don't get me wrong, but I just, I just don't want to be that far away from home. Definitely, I definitely feel like that because out of, coming out of high school, I thought that's all I wanted was to be far, far away. And then once I got far away, I was like, yeah, never mind. <laughs> bring, bring me back home. Bring me back wow, home. Yeah, you gotta catch a plane every time. Yeah, that. So that definitely that something to think crazy. about, no matter what college you're thinking about. But now, we told you a little bit about what school we go to, kind of the process of landing on that school. But now we're trying to tell you some pros of that school, why we like that school, you know, some stuff that our school's good at. So for this one, I'll go first again. Um, one thing I like about Xavier is that it's a smaller HBCU. I, I don't even think we have 2,500 people. Oh, wow. So it's a smaller school. So you really do kind of get to meet a lot of the population as well as, you know, really form close bonds um and it really is a family oriented place in the sense of like when i first went down there freshman week so some of the upperclassmen are out and i mean some are greek some aren't some are um 
you know, athletes. I mean, all these people are out. And I'm like, man, I'm the little fish. Like, these people aren't going <laughs> to talk to me. And no, they, they definitely came out there. I was, I was intimidated for so Like, oh, man, like, these guys, they're not going to talk to this little freshman. But no, they, hey, you know, what's up, bro? My name is da 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 You know, if you ever need things, if you ever need groceries, you know, stuff like that. So, you know, they are very, it's kind of like a big brother, big sister type of thing. They really do look out for you. Nothing but love. So I love that. Plus, I mean, being in New Orleans is a cool city. Um... Mardi Gras was cool. Again, I definitely do miss the DMV a lot. But, you know, being in different places, it was a cool experience. And then, again, another thing about Xavier, too, is because it's so small, you really get to know your professors and stuff like that. So that's something I like that, you know, I'm not just a number. So that's cool, too. And, again, mm-hmm. you know, I'm at HBCU. I, I think no matter what HBCU I would have been to is that when you see someone else, they could have went, for instance, to Bowie State, NCAT, FAMU, Lincoln, Clark, but because you go to HBCU too, you're, you're connected like a family. Always you know? family. And that is, no that's what I love. I'd be driving, I got the, um, because my dad originally had my car and he still got the family too. I still only switched out the buoy, but people be hogging on me on the driveway. Hey, HBCU, I see them speed past me. I see a little Spellman tag. I'm like, oh, I see Morehouse. Bro, HBCU is always just a big family. family. Love. Always love. A lot of love. Yeah, for me, man, I don't know where to start. Like, Really though, honestly, I love everything about NCAT. Like, if you ask me, I really have no cons. Um, so I, I think I have like you know just like for times now I have a good say in this because I don't. Um, they got to really experience that first year uh, on campus. You know when it was like everybody was on campus. So like, I my year like when I well my sem- uh, I was down there for one semester. Um, it was kind of different, obviously with the COVID times and everything. So, but it was cool. Like, I really enjoyed it down there. Like, it was mostly just freshmen on camp. I think we had some sophomores up there. We might have had a, a few upperclassmen, but it was really it was really just freshmen on campus. And it was really great. Like, that field of it was really great because, like, you would go out and you would see a couple people you know, and but you see mostly a lot of new people. Mm-hmm. And obviously, it's not going to be like that at full capacity because I go to the, you know, the largest HBCU in the country. So, it's like, it's going to be yeah. way, like, when it's packed, I'm not going to know anybody out there. But it was cool because it's just like everybody was cool down there. Like, I feel like us as black people, like, it's just, yeah. like, you kind of just like cool. Like, it's just like, it's, a, <laughs> it's something about it. Like, it's like no animosity. Like, it's no weird tension, bro. It's just like everybody just cool down there. I think it's also a southern thing, like the hospitality. Like, the people are just cool. And, uh, yeah, so I, I don't really have any complaints. The campus is nice. It, all the lights at night, it looks sweet. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, every, nothing is really too far. I mean, I stayed in Pride, so I was kind of, like, in the middle of, their, of everything, kind of, because I was, like, right up the street from the student center. Uh, I was far from Williams, but I wasn't really eating at Williams anyway. I was eating in the mini cab. so. But, um, yeah, it was sweet. I really enjoyed it, and the people was nice. You know, I, I really hang out, uh, hung out with DMV people, but I met a lot of people from, like, Charlotte and, from the Greensboro area, South Carolina, like I met a lot of people uh, from different places down in the South. And everybody's just cool. Like I, ne- I had no problems. Like honestly, I know some people, you know, had problems. Like people seeing clothes in the, in the washing machine. <laughs> yeah, stuff, they, do <laughs> they do that. But that's what they call it. That's what they call yeah, it. That's yeah, HTTP like, like, yeah. I, just, I honestly had no problems. Only, I think my only somebody, the only thing somebody could say about me was like. Was probably noise, but <laughs> <laughs> we would be in that jump, screaming, music, yelling at the at two K. We was dribbling the ball. They would be banging on the ceiling. They come up and say, "Hey, I'm I'm trying to study. Can you be quiet?" Yeah, but like it was nothing serious. Like nothing really wild. Um, but yeah, everything about NCAT is cool. The people are cool. The campus the campus is nice. Uh, I didn't get that you know interaction with the professors and everything because everything was online for us. But yeah, the food is good. They be having like different yes. food days. They be having the fried fish Fridays, and they be having like carnival events. You be getting corn dog and cotton candy. I'm telling you, bro, like it's so sweet, bro. And the women is. Nah, the women, the women is nice. The women is nice. They're, they're Especially good. the ratio. It looks good down there. The bro. ratio, yes sir, Same, yes bro. sir. And yeah, so it's just nice, but I don't know about the guy. I don't know about the guys. Everything that I read, they say the the end cap men are short and all this. I, I don't know what's going on with all that. All of, all my friends like six feet plus. My roommates like six four. So, hey, y'all gotta find y'all gotta find the right ones. But I know the women is yeah. But 
Uh, that's not what I'm there for. I'm there to study. You know, some definitely. In the books. We are here to yes study. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But yeah, yeah. I love it, cat. Uh, me, me, me. All right, so Bowie. Um, first house of Bowie, you know, logo home, drew that uh, humble 40. I was kind of like Scott. It's a um, smaller HBCU, but, you know, it'd be like jocks and all that. Jocks was fraternity, sororities. You see all that. It's like, yo, I'm just like this new kid on campus. Thankfully for me, I kind of um, sat down in like two departments. I had a lot of hair, so that, that was like a plus. It wasn't like in locks or anything. No sense, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but but it just kind of stand out like people are like oh I like your curls blah 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 like, my hair went down to my back and then um the way I dress is very different to uh, say the least so people notice me when I, uh, I walk past but it, it's cool like it just uh, take on the wing like um the person I said I wanted Mister HBCU himself like he will be texting my phone just checking up on me like hey what's up and it's like it's just little stuff like that and it's just like wow like it's really a big family. But it's just, like, not to sound like cliche, but it's, it's really like a little Wakanda type beat. Definitely. Like, and even that buoy, you think about it, it's like, oh, that's in PG. It's, you meet so many different people. Like, my friend group, um, we have one person from Miami. We got two people from, we got one person from Greensboro, one person from Charlotte. And we, we have, like, um, five people from Baltimore. But, yeah, I mean, but really, it's really diverse, like, way more diverse than you would think. Like, I know people from New York. Um, no girl from Minnesota, and it's like, yo, that it, it's crazy. But um, HBCU experience, it, it was it was great. My uh, first semester, like I was just uh, looking back on the college, reflecting on my first semester. I will go to work, come right off work, event, 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 nah, event, really, always oh, an event, always an event, and, and then you then, popping on two K tonight. Yeah, oh no, boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, you have no 2K, nah, uh, bro. Like when I tell you, like celebrities just be popping up. Even now, like the other oh, day, yeah. it, even even oh, the child. other day, Desi Banks was up at Bowie. So it was like, oh. yo, when I was freshman, um, it was just like a random Tuesday. It was like I checked Twitter, hey, Polo G on campus. It was, was like, crazy. it was like, what? I was mad, Man, bro. Open, it wasn't uh, our opening basketball game, but it was like the kind of like midnight madness type beat. He, um, dirt popped up. We was oh. like, yo, it was like, it's just like crazy stuff like that. that and it's crazy. like, it's like, being at HBCU is, is so good. It's bro. one of a kind. And like Darius said, like Chris said, you, you really won't get this anywhere. I mean, like Darius said, celebrities just randomly popping up and yeah. most of the time, they usually aren't paid either. It's not because they're there because, oh, someone paid them said, hey, yeah. can you come and do this show? They no. Like the energy. They yeah. love the energy. Yeah. And think about it like this, they're around people who, know their music, who know their work, you know, who know Literally, them and are excited yeah. to see them, you know, so it definitely helps. I mean, like, what what other place do you know that two Chicago, big-time Chicago rappers are coming just for, you know what I mean, for the fun of it? That It's not... Uh, on separate something. occasions, too. Yeah. Like, that is crazy. Yeah, when I was on campus, I know Tusi came in there because he's from, um, I think he's from North Carolina. Chris he came, Paul. he was uh, he was performing, he was throwing out money to people. Like, Chris Paul came up there. <laughs> there. You know, he went to Wake Forest and everything, so he, he loves the uh, that North Carolina area. So he was up there, I took a picture with him, I was geeking, I said it, I said it to the chat. Yeah. Like, I mean, I met Chris Paul, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was crazy, like, celebrities are really pop up out of nowhere. Man, you know? I would probably say, um, I... I don't know the Chris about right now, but homecoming is something special. Homecoming, I'm not, I'm not gonna say anything about that, man. Homecoming, uh, you, you 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 just gotta be there. You just gotta yeah, be I, there. I, I I'm know, talking I'm about sure. events every day of the week. Every, wow. I mean, so for homecoming, we have ours in the fall around our basketball team because we don't have a football team as Xavier, which is a con. But we'll talk about that later. <laughs> so, but that whole week, alumni coming back. Then we had, so we had like a boat ride. Then we had um, a concert. And for our concert, Rico Nasty came. And, you know, she's from here. So I'm like, oh, snap. And then we had like a comedy yeah. show. And then when I tell you those alumni just blessed. Oh, hey, this was my old room. $100. Oh, hey, you're from DV2. Yes. $100. Food, tents, everything. So I went to that what? one. Every plot. Every, every plot had a cookout on homecoming that- day. Yo. It was after the game. I, I think we busted out. We were down like 10-7. I think we ended up beating them like 53-10. to 10. Bruh, I'm telling you, every play after you come off that game, food. food. They have, I'm food. not talking about like no, like skimpy little... I'm Big talking plays. about like ribs, turkey leg. Like they had food. For free, too. Like, like, I don't know if y'all, y'all drink or not, but I, I didn't drink at the... 
at the time, but free food, free liquor, everywhere. and then they're and they're just here, here. And again, it's not like oh, you gotta pay. No, they're here, here. So that was yeah, no, they they definitely those the alumni love coming back. They love showing love, and even not just because of the alumni, but just in general, like they that's that's a great time. I mean, I'm I'm gonna be honest. I've never been to a PWI's. H- uh, a PWI's homecoming. I have. It's not like that. But it's, it's, it's not, not, it's like not that. topping that. It's not, it's like not that. topping that. I promise. Like it's just, it's just the energy throughout the whole week. It's just good vibes. You just see people all out. And, and not even mention the Darties when you first come at the beginning of the fall, and then uh, later in the spring semester. If it's good weather and somebody got a speaker, you best believe everybody's Everyone's on the there. block. Like everyone's out it, there. It, it's always good times at HBCU. That, that's the oh, yeah, thing you I can like. Make fun out of anything. Anything. No, anything. Really. Well, we had like a little store like right off campus, like like right up the street, probably like a ten minute walk. We would just walk to the store get ice cream, bro. Like, yeah, it, definitely. And it's like a whole like it's a whole like mission. Like it's not just, really. You just be tea, you just, like you just be having fun. Yeah, bro. You're like you're just enjoying life, just being there, walk, like being. Do what you want, uh-huh. like, and you're not really worried. But I mean, like, Greensboro specifically is not really the best area. Like, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. you should like, you know, watch out when you like. <laughs> yeah. stuff. But I mean, but like, you're not really worried about anything. Right. Like, it's in, like, you're, like you're just surrounded by black people. Like, and they're not really. Like, Community that's what I'm saying. Like, too. Wakanda yeah. to a certain extent. But one thing about HBC, they might be skip. We'll, we'll get to this mm. on the comments. They might be a little skimpy with the um, mm. um, scholarship well, money, but they would put money in funding into events. Like I'm, they, oh, you, they they you find know, that money, bro. Homecoming, they find that money for sure, right? <laughs> bro. I'll tell you, during the homecoming week, um, had when we were having events every day, like we had like roller skating mm. rinks, blah 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 blah. They ran out bowling oh, alleys, nice. and then like one day, um, I think. On like a Tuesday, we, they ran out sky zones. They have buses Definitely. to take you there for, from That's like tough. nine to nine to one o'clock in the morning. Yeah. That's tough. And man, and then when we got out of sky zone, uh, like since I go to small HBCU, we know people. I see the uh, New Yorker. He he drove there on his jeep, so they have the speakers blasting. Definitely. He went there dancing on top of the jeep. I, it's like it's always just good vibes. Yeah, you, well. you you can't get these memories anywhere else. You can't. And even with the cons of HBCU, some of them aren't even really like. Crazy cons, like for instance, a con about Xavier is because we are a smaller school. Um, you know, it's okay. So we get funding. However, some of the buildings definitely look like they've been there since the beginning of time. Yeah, There's some stuff that you know needs to be fixed. And sometimes when you're trying to get certain stuff done, you have to go through like four thousand different staff members to finally get the person you need. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, they be sending you like twenty different buildings. Dude. Yo, it's I remember one time change. I was um. I think this was like my first. I was adding my minor to a thing. I had to go to the business department. Then it was like, oh, go to the art department, RSI at campus. And then the art department just like, oh, go to the student center. Hey, bro, That's you might you kids. might be uh, take a whole day trying to get one thing done at HBCU. One thing, yeah. And then this really isn't even a con. It's more like a pro and a con. So like Xavier, for instance, we have a nineteen to one or eighteen to one. Girl to guy yes. ratio, which is amazing because you have a really a Jeez. very nice variety to really select from. Still, I'm telling you. So if you're a guy going to HBCU, a beautiful ratio. But but on the flip side, that also means that sometimes there's less guys on campus. Like again, we're a small school, it's like Bowie State. So some of the the choice of guys you have to be friends with, it definitely sometimes takes a little bit longer. I mean, we bonded mm-hmm. always. We were on the same dorm, but it definitely sometimes because you're gonna meet some people where. Very peculiar. So you just got to be, you know, you got to be prepared for that. But, Shane, I think another thing is, I mean, they don't relate to this because they have one of the best D2 um, football oh, programs team. in the country. Then NCATS has a, has a D1 team. But we don't have a football team. And we're NAIA D1. So we're, we're not playing LSU. We're too late. So I'm not seeing all the top recruits I've been hearing about. I got to, oh, I got to get on my phone. I got to go to Tulane. But, you know, it, it's still, we still have a nice basketball team. And it is cool and stuff. Like yeah, and we just won the GCAC, so I mean, you know, so again, we still have hoops, and, and that's another thing too I like about HBCU, the Hoopers, at least at our school, they're, they're not Hollywood, like, for instance, one oh, guy, yes. Mark, he just was NAIA, um, All-American first team, he was like our MVP, everything, and he's still, what's up, little bro, every time he sees me, you know what I mean, you need, like, you know what I mean, he never once asked Hollywood, and when I first started with this Mascom stuff, Raymart was one of the first people who was like, hey, like, you you need an interview, like, I got you. And so that was just, you know, stuff like that. Like, that's again, that's every, like again, everyone's looking out for each other. Which, yeah, another con is, too, 
just watch out, uh, just watch out. Women are shysty. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> wow, that's all I'm gonna say. Real shysty. That's all I'm gonna say. Hey, bro. listen, I, 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 no, no, HBCU no, no, women no, no, are no, aggressive. No, 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 no. Aggressive. Big, mm. big aggressive. They're beautiful but aggressive. Man, they be cat. Man, they can't call me um, if I'm walking down Main Street. Nah, I be, bro, I be hearing yeah. girls from their windows. I be like, yo, I be all like Facetime with somebody. Like, hey, Pablo, like, we trying to figure out where it's coming from. It's like, yeah, yo, bro, it's different, bro. Bro, do y'all uh, campuses have a Main Street? Type B or uh, kind yeah, of like, yeah, like it's yeah, like yeah. right in front of our school okay, center. So, yeah, so right that's right what I'm saying. Right 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 we call center, we call yeah. it thing the promenade. It's like the student center, and then you just keep going down. It's like all the um housing, da- most yeah, of the housing yeah. complexes. So yeah. so if you walking down that, you gonna be known. Like literally, um, when I went to new student orientation, like they had like a little um. Guy the guy talk, girl the girl mm-hmm. talks to you like like the family or and stuff. Uh, Every the guy was like, Listen, if you don't want to get caught up, do not walk with any girl down that main street. <laughs> if you know you have one, because they will know Sheesh. some somebody's communicating. So it, it's just a big family atmosphere. It really is. But yeah. um one con that I would have with Bowie, um the same same way I love the people, um he, he, you do girl that hate them a little bit. Dumb. Personally, for me, I was in an all guy dorm. They they call my uh, oh, yeah. dorm trap house band though. <laughs> call it what you want. It was it was a mess, like a straight up mess. It was just freshmen don't know how to act when they get Definitely. out the house. Um, and a lot of people for Bowie because since Bowie's a lo- local school, like how I was saying earlier, even though with all the good stuff happening around, a lot of people come there for their last resort mm. at the same time because it's so cheap. So um. Like, people will be living in the dorm. They'll be up, like, 3 in the morning, shooting dice, smoking. It's like, yo! It's like, 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 where's your class, man? I remember I uh, got out of class and finished getting something to eat. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm about to go to work. And I'm trying to go up to my room. They're over there shooting dice in the stairwell. Because usually they shoot outside. I was like, man, you going to step into a game like that? They were like, you cool, though. You cool, though. <laughs> yeah. Got a little, uh, I had a corner room, thankfully. Man, they took away. Another thing, um... They'll take uh, visitation. Like, yeah, I'm about to say, they take away visitation in a heartbeat. You didn't have to deal with this. Dang, right? but, yeah, y'all man, struggling, bro. Bro, I'm that. talking about for weeks, no visitation. <laughs> man, <laughs> that's when the real hey, trap house, bro. especially for me being an all-guys dorm, that's when the real, yeah. like, trapping, man, I'm talking about dribbling basketballs at 1 o'clock in the morning. Oh, yeah, yeah, we did that. We definitely did that. I'm, I'm talking about like in the hallway to play a one-on-one. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. no, no. It, 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 all you hear is like, yo, like, 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 relax, relax. Man, it, it became Tom Fuller. Like, it was so much. There was like a hole in one of the walls. <laughs> Oh yeah. yeah, so yeah, yeah hot boxing our bathroom. I was what? like, bro, what are y'all <laughs> doing? They smoke, bro. They be smoking out the first floor of the building, bro. I don't know if my room, my uh, residence hall got three floors. They be smoking Man. the first floor out. You walk in that joint, it just hits you. One thing, about, uh, one thing, I I had the worst cough my first two weeks on campus. Said no smoke campus. That is a lie. I'm telling you, Man. Well, that that main street I'm talking about with the student center, all the help. People are dancing, smoking yeah. every day. Every day after eight, as soon as the sun sets, they smoking, smoking. Oh, I never understood. Like, but it's like you're on the first floor, bro. What are you? Why are you smoking? People, people were, uh, floor, smoking. Uh, what's not They were like um, throw like wet paper towels at the um, smoke detector so it doesn't go off or cover with a plastic bag. I'm talking about bro. outside. Like even with like. It's outside. It smelled like gas. Yes, like, it's not in a condensed it space. Like that, and it still smelled like gas to the like point that, where I had a bad cough, like, for two weeks. I was, my mom's like, you get it? I was like, Mom, <laughs> listen, it is, it is crazy. I'm telling you, like, if that's one thing you do have to get adjusted to. Because at the same time, if you realize, like, if there's parties every day, it's smoking and drinking every day. Yeah, which yeah. is a good thing in the back. I mean, yeah. like, people lit all the time. But at but the same time, after a while, you, you do want that break. Um, thankfully for Bowie, um, a lot of people go home on the weekend, so that Saturday and Sunday, you really get to just chill, spend time to yourself. If it's not a party or something, and usually parties will be off campus or something, they'll have a shuttle bus. So Saturday and Sunday, campus is quiet as can be, and you could just take time to yourself, study, meditate, do whatever. Definitely think. study. Definitely yeah. Study. Yeah. I mean, I just wanted to speak on what he said, though, like about, you know, smoking and drinking. Like, <laughs> I'm one of those people, I don't really do any of that. So, uh, I just want like, for the other people like that, I know it's, it seems like everybody do it nowadays, but like, when you get the, when you get the campus, though, like, 
it's gonna happen, bro. Like, it's really no avoiding it, bro. Like, you just gotta have people, discipline. Yeah, yeah like, don't, don't get peer pressure and all that if you really not. Do not get peer pressure. And if you, yes. do, if you do any of it, then, you know, you're gonna have a fun time. You know, like, that's like, I feel like that's what they do. Like, if it's a party or something, like, you, you, you're gonna meet friends, you're gonna be on their uh, Instagram stories, bro. That's all you're gonna see, bro. They're gonna be drinking, yes. smoking, you know, just having a good time. Like, you know, but yeah, so just be prepared for that, especially if you you're a person that doesn't you know engage in those activities, because it's gonna be it's gonna be around you. Like, don't I don't want you to be like it's not like surprised, but like it's right, gonna yeah, be it's there. gonna be but there. Not to, uh, yeah, yeah, it's definitely gonna be there. So uh, I don't mm. if you go there and get culture shock, I yeah, don't want that to happen. Okay. But um, a lot of times I just smoke or drink while I was on campus, so. Why I did, I made sure I looked out for my friends that did. Yeah, Especially yeah, when we're yeah. out that somewhere. Definitely make sure you keep tabs system. on your friends at parties and all that. If, if you go to a party together, make sure you leave Watch together too. Watch girls too, bro. Because yeah, dudes in college, bro. that's at PWI's HBCUs. There, not everyone there has good intentions. No, so definitely, guys. You know, Especially at parties. Because if you think about parties, not everybody at the party goes to school. Like, right. like yeah, not everybody yeah, the party bro. you know, so always look out for your bro, friends. Look out for your friends in general, but if you're a guy, bro, look out for your female friends, bro. Check Especially, them, make sure they good. Watch they watch their backs. Watch their drinks. Drinks. Bro. Like seriously, yeah. watch out for your females. Bro. Don't don't leave your drinks unattended. If you do, don't don't even bother picking them back up because there are some sinister, <laughs> some sinister yes, dudes. But no, but even with all that being said, you know, again, you just, no matter where you pick, just be cognizant. That's whether you're in college, whether you don't go to college, if you're just out, especially nowadays, just just please be cognizant. But now we kind of told you guys a little bit about the pros, some of the cons, some a little bit of our experiences. I think we're going to kind of end this off with maybe some advice that we would give um, to either our freshman self or, you know, someone who's coming to our school, as well as ultimately... Do you like your school? And, you know, would if you had the chance to do all this over, would you still pick the same school? Um, okay, so you know, I already expressed, you know, I really love NCAL. Like, I really enjoyed my time there. It was just, everything about it was just good. I was around cool people. We had fun, bro. We did our work. You know, I finished with like a, a 3-4 that semester, you know. Yeah. Um, so it was like in them books. Yeah, in them man, books. Like, it's not like like you have I so much fun books. like every day <laughs> and like you're still doing your work. Like it's just a good feeling, bro. When you know you're keeping up with your work, you're doing good in school, and then you got you know your free time. You live like for me, like I live with like all my friends, so you know, we had free time, we would listen to music, you know, play yes. video games, you know, Chill. from the opposite room. So we yelling at each other, we running, we running the um Doing fist bumps and uh, chest bumps and stuff, and we hitting game, <laughs> we hitting game winners and stuff. Like it's it's just so much fun. Like and it's so much to do, so much exploring to do. Like and we were in a cool, we we're just in a like a cool area. Like well, <laughs> it's a lot that goes on in that area, but <laughs> yeah, everything. I mean, it's just I like know. stuff is placed well. So like we would, we would, we would have all nighters and then walk to like the biscuit bill like at seven in the morning and just get fresh biscuits, bro. Like I'm telling you, like. It's just so, I'm telling you, bro. It's so much fun, bro. Like, it's so much stuff to do. Like, it, it, I just didn't really enjoy A and T. Like, it's just great for me. Um, but as far as advice for like a freshman self or somebody who's going to college, I just say, um, choose wisely. Definitely go where go where it feels best, bro. Like, yes. I visited probably five campuses, bro, and I'm telling you. When I got on AAT's campus, it just felt right. You just know, because yeah. you get that feeling. You You're going to know, get that bro. Make sure you go where it feels right. Your mom probably in your ear telling you, you know, stay here. It's, it's closer to home. Do this, do that, bro. It's about you and what you want to do, where you're going to feel best, where you're going to go and do well, not be depressed, not burn yourself out, trying to do work all the time, not having fun. Like, go where it's going to fit you, bro. And um, yeah, Your mom you, ain't going to be with you in 10 yeah, years. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So. She's not going to be there with you on campus either. <laughs> you sitting in your room sad, depressed, crying over, you got all this work to do, and you ain't got no friends, and your mom can't help you with that. Right. So, you know, yeah. you got you know, you got to learn you gotta hope how you live. live. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, and then when you get there, make sure you keep up with your work. I know everybody's going to say yes, that. Yes, 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 yes. So it is so easy to fall behind in and like, I, that, when you're on campus. Bro. Especially on the HBCU where there's so much stuff happening every day. Saying, keep bro. up. When you're in that group yeah, chat yeah. and they say, oh, we going here at 9, bro? You got an assignment due at 11.59 that you ain't touched. 
Do your work, work. I'm telling you. Your bro. friends are gonna understand. There's gonna it's always gonna be a night. Always gonna be another. Moment. Always gonna be another day, another night out. But you need to get those assignments. That assignment, assignment you can't get that back, bro. So do it, bro. Do your work, bro. And the thing about us, like with my group of friends, like they might go to a function, I be doing some work, and they might slide by the dorm when they finish. You know, like so. Like, bro, you're, you're gonna see them again. You're gonna see them, bro. Like, bro, get your work done, bro. Yeah, that was my friends. They would, they would go to the party. If I'm getting my work done, they'll be like, hey, especially on the weekend. They, they uh, no Friday, I hear a work or I'm I'm doing some work. They'll be like, "Hey, let's just have a sleepover." And then yeah, right, it'll be right. like six of us in the room, just cool. Right, you're, you're oh, yeah, gonna well, see. They'll go to cookout or something. And text me, do I want something to go to right, Wi-Fi like, or something? Like, bro, surround yourself with good people, bro. Get your work done. Yeah, so have fun. Bro. Surround yourself with the right and just be smart. The, the, the there, people bro. you're around will definitely make or break your college experience. Because one day, right. what they do not be joking about the uh, college ratio. When they be like, look to the left and the right, and probably one of them gonna be gone. That is oh, fact. You will be. Dropping like flies, <laughs> like like college is not a joke. Bro. Like as much as much fun it has, you have to get be on top of stuff. You have to like yeah, that, bro. It's really beautiful too. Like when you get a core group of people and y'all like all do well bro, together. Like y'all are all thriving together. Like I'm surrounded by all engineers. And, what the? <laughs> I'm surrounded by all engineers, and so we all get it. Like we all have the same mindset. We know it's difficult. Nothing about it is easy. But you know you gotta work hard. We all want the same. Work goal. hard, player. We all want to graduate with that engineering degree. We all want to pass that test. So we all got the same mindset. Like, let's go get it. We are gonna push ourselves. We are gonna get this work done, and we are gonna have fun doing it. You especially, know what I'm especially, you gotta surround yourself yeah. with people who are gonna help you succeed, bro. Especially at HBCU, because listen, black people at the end of the day we are the minority, so we have plenty of more work than the. Yeah. Than others to get to the place of where you want to be. Right. So you definitely gotta apply yourself. My advice for um, an incoming student would, in addition to getting them, but just be yourself. Be if you yourself. college is a new beginning, be like oh my gosh, like like college, you can be whoever you want. Like, and in, in high school, people call me Pablo. Bill, Pablo, that that somehow that name got transferred over. Somebody in, like high school was on like a group page. Some called with me while I was with my friends at Bowie, and then. Pop up the, and then just dragged yeah. on, but it's like, damn, I'm like a whole new person now. People, are, hey, Pop up, hey, Pop up. <laughs> it's like, yo, what's good? But I'm telling you, college is a new beginning. So it's like, even if you got like problems, you're always gonna find somebody like you at yeah, college. Exactly. College is a big place. People you're are gonna rock with you for you, you, bro. Do not change how you act, bro. If somebody doesn't how like you, dress, you none of that, yeah. So if somebody do doesn't like you. you bro. They just don't like you at the end of the day. But be do, yourself. Bro. You don't want somebody not liking something that you're not. You know what I'm saying, just be authentic, bro. Right. That that would be my number one advice. Uh, somebody, just be yourself. You're going find. You go find your place. Yeah, like like they've said, the feedback. They've all said great things. It's on top of your work, you know. Like Chris says, it's on top of your work. You surround yourself with the right people. Because again. There's going to be a party every weekend. Like, at least for us, there was some promoter or something in our group chat yes. every week. So, so there was I ain't going to lie. I joined the promotion them team be, my freshman year. I joined, fires, the, bro. Bro, I joined the promotion team. That one, listen, y'all might have got tired of my story, but walking into the party, no <laughs> lie. Man, you can not those, those, it. those lines are ridiculous. Those lines are ridiculous. And, and the, hold on, hold on. Parties will will kind of tax your pocket. Girls come free, groups of three guys, twenty. Yeah. I'm like, dang. Yeah, like, that promo- like, you gotta do what you gotta I'm do. telling you, I joined that promotion do, team do. my uh, freshman year. Do what do do what you gotta do. I joined that promotion team, bro. I walk into every party free, and that's and that's a thing too in college budget. Because oh, those parties oh, are that's a good one. That's, that's a good one. one. Yo, yo budget. 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 I was working and I was oh, still broke. I was, I was spending a hundred on groceries like in two weeks. Bro, bro. I'm telling you, as soon as that uh, oh, what's in there, the uh, graduation money goes, you be. Hey mom. Ma. Hey mom. Ma. Yeah. Hey mom. Ma. Hey mom. Ma. You think you can send me ball? Uh, we we going out, up tonight. I just ran out of Doritos. <laughs> <laughs> no, Captain Walmart runs be crucial. I'm you never sad, know until bro. you go to Walmart and then that bill comes to the fifty dollars. You go like, sad, yo, bro. yo. And then what's it on weekends, bro? Because there's always a party. You might there's always something. You either gotta go to pay the party, a Uber, food, food, something, bro. So it, 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 a, a ten dollar night turns into sixty, just bro, like that. Me, bro. Bro. And, and like like that ten dollars and sixty dollars so much different from high school to college. It's like yo, Dude. bro. You both, but I got. I ain't gonna lie. I got like a thousand something for um graduation. graduation. But between the laptop, uh, by the time I bought my laptop, I was pretty much already like down bad. Yeah. But while I got. 
first, 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 first two weeks on first campus, two, maybe a week and a half. I was <laughs> not last, <laughs> but and then. Then you'd be tired of Kai food on the weekend. And then yeah, it's like, nah, Kai food. Doordash a- Uber Eats has, has ruined my pocket. <laughs> ruined my pocket. Nah, that's no, no, no. And the Kai food was the. I know personally, I, believe, I don't know about y'all. The calf closed early on the weekend, so no. you're forcing. During the week, it closed. It closed. It closed at six. Our, our calf calf closed at six. Our mini calf was not open on the weekend. Bro, so. I'll tell you, you you get on the weekends. We had the, to eat in Williams, bro. Right, calf, bro. bro. I'm telling you, the calf closed at five. You you and your. I, I ain't gonna lie. Um, what's the name? Uh, during the weekdays. Because we had, like, soul food Wednesday and stuff like that. I, I know I want soul food Wednesday. I want yeah, the fried yeah. chicken, mac and cheese, yams, get a yeah. little greens. Bro, I'm telling you. And my book bag, they were dirty. I'm in the books. No, I got some Tupperware in my book bag. Hey, Tell yeah. me it's a go play every time. That's smart, bro. That, bro, I'm telling you, that, that'd be dinner. Because, listen, <laughs> the cat closes at 7 or 8. You don't, you only get two, meal sli- two three meal slices a day. You ain't bro, you got to stock up. <laughs> bro, no, Saturday and Sunday, when the calf is not open... That spanks your pockets. Bro, I'm watch your money, bro. You gotta watch it. Oh, watch it, Lord. Because I was down there, bro. You don't even think about what you're you spending don't. sometimes, bro. You be like, all right, you catch an Uber. I be, I was splitting the Uber, so it wasn't that bad. I'm like, oh, that's not that bad. Yeah, that's all. Oh, you spend that money, you gotta get the Uber, Uber back. back. Yeah, all bro, that like, time, all bro. Time. My mom uh, ordering cheesecake factory, bro. Like my pockets. Bro. So uh, we got to school like August uh, 21st. So I already went through like two weeks. My mom's like, hey, listen, keep a log of everything you spend for the next month. I kept that log. I was looking at all the stuff I was buying. I was like, it's ain't like, no wow, way. It's just like wild stuff. It ain't just adds It's usually out. a lot of smaller purchases. It's not like yeah, you're spending yeah, like 50 it'd, it'd, it'd be like 10, 10, 10, $10, 10, $10, 10 Bro, no. It'd be 10, it'd be 10, 10, 10, 10. 10, 10, 10. 10, 10, 10. Next thing you know, you got a $200 bill in a couple nah, weeks. It's like, yo. Wild. It runs up, bro. You nah, got to watch nah, the cap, The cap spanks on the weekends because them joints close at like 5. And then... You're not really trying to get fast food because you're so used to eating cat food. Mm-hmm. You're trying to get a little, something a little, a little extravagant. Like, yeah. I might go to Fridays or something. Right. They know what they're doing, like, but they close the calf early and then they leave the Chick fil A and the, uh, the, the, <laughs> yeah. the, the Aggie Wings open until like 9 or something. Yeah, they leave the pub over I'm for saying, us. Bro, you, you know, that's making like 10. You swipes in, bro. bro. Ah, I'm dude. telling you. And then what's the name? After parties because. You're always hungry after You're a party. Hungry, so oh, it's not open. I know for you, you have Waffle House. Oh, I God. have the only thing open around oh, Bowie. I'm telling you, you I, I have the only thing open. You see the whole school up in that IHOP. You like, yo. That right, yeah. So watch your money. Watch your money. Pockets. Watch your money. Be yourself. Turn yourself with the right people. And, and, and yeah, get that, 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 and that's, that's, that's the thing we're in our home. Get, get this. This is the real NES declassified, but definitely, you, but definitely, if you do all these things, no matter if you go to HBCU, PWI, something in between, as long as you're focused and you stay on top of your stuff, you know, and also have fun while doing it. And so, we're hitting that 45 minute mark, and it's giving me an ad telling me my time's about to run out. So, again, I'm here with Chris Pablo, and both these. And all three of us are HBCU students. Yes, um, sir. Black power. <laughs> exactly. Like they said, black power. And I always want you guys to know, if you guys have any questions about any of our respective schools, yes. anything, please feel free to contact no. us. Hit us up on Instagram. Yes, literally DM me, bro. I will well, what, respond. What, what are the instas? Okay, Band of Chris, K-R-I-S, two S's. And that's NK, uh, Bowie State, Global Boy Pablo. I, I hope you know how to spell uh, So, mm-hmm. as simple as that, just hit me up and I will answer. I will answer I'm you. always on Instagram. I Literally. I do modeling mm-hmm. for part time. So, you all my, all my pl- that's what I'm saying. All my plugs are on Instagram. So, I'm always Especially on Instagram. Especially if you think about coming to NCAT, you have any questions, yeah. bro? Hit me up, bro. Both, and they're both, again, they wouldn't steer you wrong. They're going to tell you the truth, good, up. bad, and whatever. So, again, we thank them for being here today, and we're definitely, again, I'm sure these, both these episodes that are about to come out are going to get great feedback, so definitely look to see them more, and yeah, and then we're also going to have some more of the um, PGNC crew on here yes. again, too, so definitely, again, all a great group of guys, um, who, again, we all like to have fun, we all do that, but we also still are focused, and you know, get stuff done when it's time to get stuff done, so definitely, again, if you're thinking about coming to an HBCU, we hope this helped you. Or even if you're just thinking about college in general, we hope this kind of gave you a little bit of an insight of what our experiences have been so far. So again, you know where to find us. We dropped the IG. This has been Scott Talks. Peace.